Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Aggressive Inline. Hey, it's the cannery! I, well, I don't remember this level, but, um, there's the bombshell. I think she's from the airport, but, uh, she's not part of the cannery, so what are they, what is she doing here? So, welcome to the cannery. There's a boat. There's the secret area, which we actually do have unlocked, but we're not going to be going there. We have ourselves a whole bunch of, uh, we have ourselves a whole bunch of goals. I'm going to be doing the goals in the, uh, normal part of the cannery. I'll be doing, I'll be going back to do the secret goals in the secret area. But first I'm going to show you what the key unlocks. We glitched, we glitched, uh, in the industrial level. And opened up this uh, hidden area. And here is the hidden area. We're not going in there though. Because we're technically not supposed to have the key to this place yet. But it's okay. We'll be going we'll be going back and forth through um we'll be going back to all the levels eventually. So until then, we're going to um start by doing some goals. Grind transfer. The pier ropes. That looks uh, incredibly easy. So let's just get that out of the way before anything else, which is um, just right over here on this side. So there's the uh, three ropes right here. There's one rope. There's uh, there's number two. And guess what? There's three already. Rope grind challenge complete. That was incredibly easy. So now let's uh grind transfer to the four rails oh that looks that's something that's very similar to what what we just did right now only there is four rails this time and despite there being four rails i think that goal is actually easier somehow believe it or not yeah it's uh it's pretty crazy so here we go one two three Four, yeah, four rail challenge complete. That, uh, goes up with my tricks there. I didn't do the trick I wanted to do. There we go, rocket backflip. Like, you haven't seen that trick a million times before. Alright, so, where are we going? Yeah, ha. Whoa, that was crazy. Can't do that in Tony Hawk HD. Alright, break the three lights. Grind over each of the three lights suspended from the cable. Those are the lights, and um, that doesn't seem that hard, so... How do we get up there is the question. That is the big question. Where are the lights at? I did, where are the lights at? It's not over here, is it? Um, I, I think it is over here, actually. Alright, so I see a juice box up there. It doesn't look that hard to get. I want to get it. Uh, not. I know there's juice boxes everywhere, but that's a, it's an orange juice box. You know what those do, right? In case you forgot, they um, increase the size of your juice bar. Uh, yeah, I think I have to go up here. Right? Yeah, okay, here's the, um, here's the juice. There we go, and I also got the 90,000 point trick challenge. I keep forgetting, collecting juice just gives you points. So anyway, this is where you're supposed to go. There's three lights, it's very easy, just grind it, ta-da, we're done. And we have a challenge right here that, uh, this is kind of tough. Do your magic, kid, and I'll handle the rest. We want to transfer between the two lower quarter pipes. I'm going to say right now that this is probably not going to get done with the stats that I have. Um, let's look at the stats like this. Uh, my stats are surprisingly low, but um, anyway, you're supposed to transfer from uh, over. Can I do the fly through? This is it, right? Yeah, I'm supposed to transfer up and over. That is a lot harder than it looks. Whoa, I didn't I kind of forgot you could swing on poles like that. So anyway, every time I try to make the transfer, I just can't do it. Uh, I can do it, but I think I, I need bigger stats. I might have to just save this goal until um, until I return to this level, unless I can do it right, like right now. I can try. 
but it probably is not gonna happen so instead of spending all day like all day doing this transfer like I did with the um, like that one transfer in the boardwalk I'm just gonna skip this one for the time being unless I can do it I think I can do it I was kind of close that one time so yeah let's keep wall riding to get uh, my wall ride stat up even though I don't really need it yeah oh, man that sucks okay let's go back we'll go back to that one so let's see now we have to grind transfer the uh this really grind transfer the two rails below the lifeboats in a single trick line okay let's find the lifeboats they are just up here okay you think it'd be easy to just get up here it's really not it takes some doing the, the best way that I know how to do this is to basically just grind here grind there and jump from there to there ta-da and we have we have a nice assortment of, of ramps that we'll never use seriously though I, I just don't want to use them so let's see what we got here there's a pipe transfer photo transfer between oh wait that's the that's the goal that I'm I'm going I'm coming back to later isn't it yeah okay so we have ourselves oh the industrial junkyard key is in here somewhere and um, everything down here is uh, the secret area which we'll be doing some other time. Let's find goals now. Good lord, be careful there. My calculations predict the sliding contact between your boots and that steel piping produce a frictional heating significantly higher than the flash point of propane. Like the propane in that large tank there. Oh dear, I should move. So anyway, we have to grind. We have to do like a pipe grind transfer. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's run. I know what to do, but we're going to run through the the flyby so I can give you a better idea of what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to grind from there to there and uh, it's, it's actually not a difficult it's not a difficult goal. A lot of a lot of easy goals so far so here we go. I have to um, not hand plant. We're not it's not time to hand plant. Here we go. There's one and oh man I missed it but this will work. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, can, I, can I still do it from here? Oh man, gotta love that pixelated blood. It's, it just looks so fake. Ah, uh, why am I, why am I playing so bad today? All right, let's try this again. Don't, yeah, don't fall off this time. Gotta get to the necessary speed. Ta-da! And. Whoa, off we go. This is, um... Oh, we even killed two pigeons in the process. Wow. You know, these cutscenes remind me of something out of, like, Tony Hawk's Underground 2. Oh, man, is there anything else that Aggressive Inline has done before Tony Hawk? You can add... You can add cheesy cutscenes to that list as well. So let's see, we're supposed to find more goals. I see a goal way over here. This guy is on the boat. What are you doing over here, guy? Oh wait, there's another guy. Let's talk to the captain first. Young land lover, you was my cabin boy. I teach you a thing or two about the sea. Get off my poop deck and stay away from my harpoon. All right, we want they wants us to grind the harpoon. Where is the harpoon you might ask? Well, it's, it's it's actually up here. What's it doing up here? Well, let's I guess that's where the harpoon is. Look, it's right there. I'm supposed to grind it. Um yeah, just basically just jump towards it, right? Oh god. Maybe it's a little harder than I thought. No, nope, maybe maybe it isn't. Fire the harpoon. Oh man. Screw that tuna kitchen and we have opened up like a new area. 
we have, done, we have seen, we are witnessing some of the fakest water effects I have ever seen. And did we just cause this entire boat to sink? That's, that's a big deal. Also, what's with the crazy music playing in the background? New level unlocked, that's awesome, but we're not going there yet. We have more goals. Let's talk to this guy, because we didn't talk to him last time. Or, but before we do that, let's just vault straight off the boat. That's some great fun right there. Alright. This guy, um, Captain Jack Sparrow. Hey, hombre, you look muy loco. Go ride around on that tuna boat without falling in ocean. <laughs> Show me, you mas macho. Is that it? So anyway, we're supposed to get um, loads of points. I don't know where the music went off to, but oh wait, there it is. It's going. It's starting up again. And is that good enough? There we go. That is um. That was the goal I did, right? Seven hundred. Yeah, because the guy's not there anymore. So let's check our challenges. We have a lot of um. You've done a lot of good stuff so far, so let's talk to the captain again. Arr, nothing upsets an old sea salt more than having his harpoon fire prematurely. Now, go check that line for kinks, you clumsy sea pup. So basically, this is the exact same goal we did before. We're gonna grind the harpoon again, only this time uh, we're gonna grind it uh, a little more. So get on the harpoon and ta da! Just basically, just do this. Alright. Hey, I see another goal down there, too. You don't even have to grind this wire for that long. You only need to grind it, like, halfway before... Before the challenge, they, they give you the challenge. That's awesome. Where's that one goal I saw? Th this guy has a peg leg and a terrible... Wow, he's wearing, like, a, like a, like a fedora. He has a peg leg. And he looks like a, like a yellow bandit, whatever that is. Oh man, fall straight into a wall. I could be the next jackass. Arr, me twin brother on the tuna boat warned me you'd be coming this way. Only hardy sailors stay on board my ship. Show me you got a backbone and can shiver me timbers. All right, I guess we're um. Wow, what a what a nice. What a what a what an interesting way of doing it. it. It wasn't the captain of the boat. It was his twin brother, of course. That way you can you can have triplets of a guy too. You won't have to make like different character models. You can just use the same guy over and over again and call him a twin. Uh, that is uh, that lazy game design or is it smart game design? Well, let's let's call it a little bit of both columns there. And that's the timed run challenge complete, so what else do we need to do?